The reserve map is one of the more difficult maps to extract from, just because some of the extractions require certain criteria to be met before you can use them. So we're going to go through every PMC and scav extract on the map, and the timestamps will be below. The sewer extract is located down from the radar dish, as you can see here, and it's right next to this orange truck here, just on the ground there. Now for points of reference, we're just in the car park by the White Knight building, so if you want to run over here, you can extract using this. You must bear in mind though, that you cannot have a bag on you when you're extracting here. So a common trick is to come in with a huge rig, run around, pick up as much as you can and extract here without your bag. The checkpoint fence extract is a scav only extract. And for reference, we're going from the radar dish down the hill, across here, and we want to be in this corner over here. And again, that is your sewer extract. You've got your night buildings over there. And this is a checkpoint building here. What you're doing is running into this corner as your scav and you will begin extracting. For our next extract is cliff descent. So going from the radar building with the king symbol right there. As you can see we're by the gate. Down there we have the pawn buildings. You want to run into the back of the building over here. The extract point is by this fence here. And as you can see you need a power cord and a red rebel in order to extract here. So this is more of a late game extraction because those items are a pain in the ass to find. For the next extract we're looking at hole in the fence by mountains this is a scav only extract the extract is right here and for reference we're behind the black pawn building here and you've got the school building just over there so you're actually running down this way and get into this hole in the fence which you can absolutely 100% fit through and will not get skewered whatsoever that's a scav extract the scavlands extract is a co-op pmc and scav extract so you'll need to find somebody who's friendly good luck with that in terms of location it's just down this road here so going from the two bishop buildings you've got that one which got all the medical stuff in it that one is the school building and you want to be running down this road here past these green gates heading towards the btr bmp thing and be extracting here Heating pipe extract for scavs only, that is right here where you see these pipes going up and over the wall. And again, for reference, we are by the K buildings or the train yard buildings. You want to be running over here and tuck yourself in behind them. You can go prone in this position here and this is a scav extract for heating pipes. The armoured train extract comes through this white castle building here. As you can see, we're just by the K buildings here. We have the radar off in the distance over there. What you need to be doing is running onto this platform when the train is here boarding the train and then you simply wait for it to leave. Bear in mind when the train arrives it does have a possibility of spawning in enemies so plan your approach accordingly. You also have the chance of being met by another PMC or SCAV as this is an extract for both and they may shoot you in the face. The bunker hermetic door extract is right next to the armoured train extract which was here. You want to be going into this building here but before you do you need to turn on the power. Right here we have the power building. This can be used to power the hermetic door. For reference we are down from the radar and we're right next to the white pawn building. What you need to do is run inside here and flip this switch I'm not gonna do it because it's irritating as hell loud as hell because game devs are dicks once power is enabled and the alarm is annoying the crap out of you you want to run down here for approximately four minutes to get from the power building to this point here so that you can extract. This is for scavs and PMCs. The depot hermetic door is a scav only extract and to get into it you need to get underground. There are several ways of getting into here but what we're going to do is go from this building right here which is next to the white castle. It is opposite from the hermetic bunker door and it is just near the white knight building. Once you get to this point here you have your hermetic door right there. Simply run up and you will extract here. An alternative way to get to the bunkermatic door is if you go from this point here or next to the K buildings, we have the heating pipe back over that way. And what you want to be doing is running into the bunker here. At this point, there may be scavs spawning down here, possibly even the boss, so be careful. And you're looking for this door on the right hand side and simply go down there and there is your hermetic door. Now it's time to do the D2 extract. This extract has several options for how to get down there. You can go in through six different buildings, five of which are down near the helicopter. I will show each route and put a timestamp at the bottom of the video so that you can choose the route which is most suitable for you. The five buildings on the ground level are White Pawn, Black Pawn, Black Bishop or the school building, White Bishop or the medical building, and the King building here. The sixth building is the radar building or the Queen building up on the hill. Now in order to get to the bunker from here, what you need to do, run to the front door, take a left, open the gate, and all the way down into this area here. Now the Black Bishop building, or school building, you want to be running around the back, so the helicopter is over here, you want to run around here, and into this door right here. There are several routes, but we're going to go the shortest one that I know. 
here we are back in the main area again. The white and black pawn buildings have very similar routes to the bunker. Running through black pawn, when you get to these stairs you want to go immediately down and on each staircase you flip around and you'll see there is a door here. This one is open, they're not always open. This leads you to the outer corridor. Run down here, take a right, and now back into the main area again. For the white pawn, through the door, down the stairs, immediate left. On the first door, run in, then take a right, down the stairs, and we're back into the big open bunker. Next up we have the white bishop building, this is near the scav co-op all the way over there. And we have the helicopter here, so we're going to run in this side door, down these stairs, straight across and through this door, and then left through another door, and then you start seeing the bunker. And down here we have water, this is quite loud and is not frozen despite the fact a winter event is on. So if anybody is camping ahead of you, they will hear you walking through this. Down here, take a left, and we're back in the main bunker area. Now each time we've come down here, we've come to this main bunker area, and you notice it's quite dark. This means that the power isn't on, and you're not able to extract until you turn on the power. So the room you need to go into is behind this wall here. There are two ways in. You can either go in this way through the door here, which means breaking some glass, or you can come to this end and go down by these power cabinets. You want to be coming to this back door. The power switch is right here. You'll notice now the lights on the ceiling are on. This means that you can now extract using the D2 extract. Now all of the guides so far from the five buildings have brought you to this location. So I'm going to show you from here how to get to the D2 extract. You need to be heading away from the power corridor and heading towards the king entrance to the bunker, which is marked by these stairs and the symbol upon the wall. You going to be heading up the ramp until you get to these stairs. Head down, open doors and just continue running through the bunker system only goes one way so you can't get lost. Now at this point here it's probably good to know that the D2 extract is the most camped extract in the game. From this point here when you get to this pipe and this door on top of the stairs you're very likely going to die to extract campers. First check is is that door open? If it is there may be somebody opposite you which I will show you now. If you open this and that door's open that means somebody else has been down here from the radar side. You have people able to sit up here and camp you, you go through this door, they can camp you over here, basically everywhere. You have little hidey holes down here, but most of the campers will sit behind these doors. So they'll close this door and they'll be hiding here waiting for you, or they'll be up there. Now this is a D2 extract, you need to simply press this button here to open the door. And that will open this big door here, and it's really, really slow. And loud. Let's not forget it's loud as well. To get to the D2 extract from the Queen building, you need to be looking at the radar from this angle. So just come through this gate here, and you're looking for the door right here. So there is a grenade launcher. This one's be going through here. Be careful at this point here, because if you fall down here, oh, the, the patch is a little bit, but if you fall down there, you're going to break your legs. Well, you're going to die. Let's face it. Now at this point here, if this door is open at the end, then either somebody has been through here already, or somebody is camping. This side is normally the place where people sit and camp. Bear in mind, you also need the power to be on in order for this extract to work. And the power is put on through the bunker, which is over that way. Now if that door is open, then somebody has definitely been down here. You've got a high chance of being camped all the way down here, because extract campers love this extract. All the way through here. And here is your extract. You may need to press this button here. This one I've already activated. You simply extract here. If you've been extract camped and managed to kill the camper, leave a comment below telling us how you did it so that nobody else has to deal with the trolls and goblins that sit at extracts stealing your loot. Other than that, thank you for watching.